Hi, I'm Fabio, and welcome to a new research paper summary by MartechPost.com. In today's video, I want to present you a novel approach for a data-efficient training of GANs. In the latest years, generative adversarial networks have proven to be a very powerful machine learning model. But there's still a problem with GANs. That's because they are particularly data-angry. In fact, during training, they heavily rely on vast quantities of diverse and high-quality training examples. The two main GANs uses these days are Big GAN and Style GAN. In this picture, you can see Big GAN trained on CIFAR-10 with respect to the 10%, 20% or 100% of the available training data. As you can see, the performance are very poor we're using a small amount of data. And in this slide, we can see why. That's because the big gun overfits. In fact, the discriminator training accuracy quickly rises the 100% limit for the uh, training set. But this uh, astonishing performance are not reflected in the validation set, the right picture here. Uh, this overfitting means that the discriminator quickly memorizes the entire training set. As we do for the other deep learning models, even a, a small set of data to avoid overfitting, we can try data augmentation. The standard GAN relies on two different loss functions. The first one re refers to the discriminator, to the training of the discriminator. The second one refers to the generator. So, in a standard GAN, the generator learns to fool the discriminator by producing very similar samples to the real ones. A first approach for data augmentation in GAN would be to augment the reals only, so only the real data. Here, the augmentation function is uh, indicated by the letter T. With this approach, the model deviates from its original purpose because now we are training the model with a different data distribution, the, the data distribution given by the data augmentation of the reals. So this approach fails, but the, the second approach fails even harder. In fact, in this approach, we augmented we augment uh, the discriminator only, both the inputs, the real and the fake inputs to the discriminator. So we mod entirely modify the loss function that refers to the discriminator. Here, these components work well with the augmented generated images, but fails to recognize the, uh, the original generated images. This can be seen in validation when the generator completely fools the discriminator. But uh, this paper proposes a third approach, the differentiable augmentation, in which we modify both loss function, the discriminator loss function and the generator loss function. So we augment both real and fake samples, and this leads to an impressive result. The training uh, approach using differentiable augmentation can be seen in this picture. In the, the first part, the discriminator is training, setting as inputs the augmented real uh, images and uh, the uh, fake augmented images. In the second images, in the second part of the training, the generator is updated, is trained using the augmented output and uh, the uh, response by the discriminator. The performance are astonishing. Here on the left side we can see uh, the images generated by us, ordinary style GAN. And on the right side we can see the, perf uh, the images generated by a style GAN plus the differentiable augmentation. These performance are even more important and astonishing because uh, these images were generated by training the style gun using a little amount of samples 
Uh, for example, with respect to the Obama pictures, the researchers used just only 100 samples. So next time developing a GAN, try this powerful augmentation technique, the differentiable augmentation, instead of reducing the model size. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe.